Hi guys, welcome to this video and I hope my voice will make it to the end because that's the reason why I've been postponing uh, doing the videos. My voice is still a bit broken, it's been three weeks now. And uh, that's the reason why I have this little thing. I have no idea whether that is actually uh, known outside of France. It's a French product called Cachou La Jeunie. And it's a small tin box and inside that tin box so you roll the two parts of the tin box and then you can get what we called a cachou, which is basically concentrated licorice. Very concentrated, it helps with uh, bad voice, and that's a teacher's friend, really. <laughs> right, and today we're going to talk about something silly, something sweary sometimes, something that made me um, happy because I really enjoy two things in notebooks. I enjoy leather notebooks, that's totally true, but I also enjoy um, impertinent notebooks. And that is what you get with the line from two littleboys.co.uk. And I have four notebooks to show you, two A6 sizes and two A5 uh, sketch pads. Right. So, what do they say on their card? They say we're a small design studio producing unique gifts. Yeah, um, because they uh, have a lot of stationery, but also other stuff. And, for example, they have um, little uh, cahiers that uh, you can offer to children for boring uh, moments uh, with adults, and they can sketch things and play games inside and so they have plenty of little things. Uh, if I remember well the company was started in 2002 and basically they uh, created things for their kids and it turned into something produced for the, a company. So we need our customers, you know, people of taste like you to shout about how brilliant we are. Please shout away, there are lots of ways and so you can find them on the internet at www dot two little boys dot co dot uk so it's a uk based united kingdom based company so let's have a look at their notebooks and then i forgot something upstairs i'm going to go in yeah so i went upstairs to get a paper on which i'm printed i printed a few designs which i like because you only have four here but i think it would give you an idea of the spirit i discovered these notebooks with uh, through the sweary ones to be honest and I believe many people would refuse to use that, those kinds of notebooks, but I find it very funny. Um, so, what kind of designs do they have? Uh, very simple ones, always, and, but very simple and nice. So, things I know but we probably forget, and you've got a whole collection of declinations of this, what, these, what, these ones, you've got things to worry about when I have nothing better to do. Or things I think but never say. Okay. And you've got a more simple versions, uh, like the sweary ones, for example, will be too damn trying bitch on the, on for size and it's probably going to fit. I really love that one. <laughs> too damn trying bitch on for size. It's probably going to fit. And so you've got another one which is I'm going to collect uh, I'm going to collection, which is spiraled. So I'm going to change the world, and this is my plan. I'm going to win the, no the Nobel Prize, and this is my plan. I'm going to be really rather naughty, and this is my plan. I'm going to be ridiculously rich, and this is my plan, etc. and etc. And you've got a whole collection as well. And finally, you've got a few other ones. This one I really, really liked. How to survive a zombie apocalypse. How funky is that for a notebook, frankly? And that's kind of funny. So you've got this one, choose your weapon, ensure romantic moments are always badly timed. Number three, choose the right dream team. Number four, be the cool crossbow dude. Number five, always hit the target. Number six, only feel pain when nursed. I love this one. It's actually totally true in the series. Seven, blend in. Eight, be practical. And nine, go native. And that's the uh, same on the other side. And the website is howtoforthenet.co.uk. So they've got a whole line from 
classic -y, I would say, to uh, a very impertinent and sweary, and it's kind of funny. Now, um, what I'm looking for also in that kind of notebook is that most of the time you can find original looking notebooks, funny looking notebooks. Now, is the quality present as well? And that is the question. Always the question. Always what you need to check. So, in this one, uh, you will, you can, sorry, broken voice. I'm going to drink a bit. If it's not enough, I'm going to take a little cashew. Okay, so what I was saying is, with that type of line uh, and that type of pricing, you cannot expect the same quality as you would in a multiple notebook which focuses on the paper, like uh, the Clairefontaine's, for example, or um, other ones like these. So um, you will have either bad or correct quality paper. In that case, you do have correct quality paper. And it's, I'm going to show you, I think I tried in this one. What did I tr write in this one? Oh yes, uh, yeah, I'll keep that for later, but I will show you my writing test. So inside this little one, as you will see, the design is very simple, very nice. And inside you've got that, which I really like personally. And at the other side too, and then you've got an elastic. A little band which is not too strong. Right, and then inside the notebook, you've got very, very dark black lines. The paper is smooth, it's not rainy, it's fairly thick as well. And so I did a few writing tests for you. One was with my Pilot Prera, with my favorite blue ink, which is from, is it Diamine? I think it's from Diamine. Yeah, so writing test with Pilot Prera. I did a writing test with my paper made Enjoy to see if the paper was smooth enough for my taste. So the writing test with the Pilot Prera. Here we go. So as you can see, uh, there is a very little bit of feathering, but very little. So the paper was actually nice. It was drinking the ink fairly fast which will give you uh, nice nuances in the writing, uh, in the color of your ink, depending on where you put pressure and where you put less pressure. And that's actually something I kind of like. The writing test with the paper made Injoy gave me the right smoothness, something I can definitely write with easily. Okay, uh, the only problem I had is the ink uh, takes some time to dry and then I am left-handed, so... Uh, a smooth. A writing test with the Palomino Black Queen 275, no problem with writing with the that kind of pen. I tried the Micron 01, Micron 03, uh, that was rubber to test the other side of the paper. The Paper Mate Replay M, no problem either, very smooth writing. The Tin How with Diamond Blue Black, it was just re-inked. So, uh, as you know, when you just re-ink a pen, especially one like this, uh, you get too much ink on the paper. So, uh, what you get is a lot more feathering than with the Pilot Prera, but uh, that's on my part, not on the part of the paper. Right, and on the other side, uh, you definitely have show-through. But absolutely no bleed through, except, and that was a surprise, with the ballpoint pen, for some reason. But no show through. It's actually nice. I also tried a pen to touch and a Tombow calligraphy pen. And in that case, there is show through, but no bleed through, so it was actually nice. Everything is kind of nice We're on this paper, so it's fine. Now, the other one, the little one I have was this one. I'm going to change the one. This is my plan. Again, you find the same lining, but this time not in black, but in dark grey colour. And the line occupies the full page. Right. Uh, this one, you would have to break the spine to, sit, to have it sit like this, but it, you definitely can. 
and there's nothing special about the color, right? So in this one, I wrote a list of the notebook styles that they offer. They make stationery for kids, stationery for grown-ups, so you will find the sweary ones in this category, writing pads and folders, positive thinking notebooks as well, that was kind of interesting, funny notebooks, sweary notebooks, and film quotes notebooks as well. But um, I could not identify the quotes because I probably saw the films in French, right? And right, that's it about this one. So let's have a look at the sketch pads because these two are, are sketch pads. Um, you've seen more and more about uh, drawing in my videos. Uh, that's actually something that I really like. So since they were also offering sketch pads, I wanted to check what it was like. So that is an A5 kind of square size, with, which is spiraled. Spiral is not something I go for, but for uh, drawing and when you want to have something that stands like this or that can stand like this, then it's kind of nice. So, in this one you've got a much thicker paper, which is 120 grams, I think, as you can see, uh, well, here. The sound is the one of the small cardboard. The paper is actually smooth, but with a little grain, very little grain, that will help with the use of a, a pencil. So that is actually nice. It's got plenty of pages in this one. It's a rather thick notebook. I didn't check how many pages there were in this one. Uh, yes, I did. It's written there, 60 pages. So the size is a 15 by 15 centimeter. I have no idea what that is in inches, I'm sorry. And it's smooth paper, as I said, with a bit of tooth for drawing purposes. I tried plenty of stuff on this one. I tried watercolor pencils, it's like watercolor felt pens. I'm not familiar with them, it's the first time I use them, um, frankly. Don't buy watercolor felt pens. No, it's not really nice what you get with them. So the uh, bottom line is just with the watercolor pencils, or maybe the ones I have are really poor quality, and the ones on top is when you put watercolor on them. And so that paper is not really fit for watercolor use, but sometimes I really like when I do my sketches just to put a bit of watercolor at some point and that would be okay. So of course when you put the color, well, the bottom line is here so you can see a little bit of, sh of uh, show through, but only with water does it bleed through, okay? Now you've got water pencils, um, and these are regular watercolor pencils on the left without the water, on the right with the water, so it's kind of nice. The effect is nice. Now we've got knee colors, because so those are crayons on, without water on the left and with water on the right, so you can actually use it. And the paper actually uh, stays rather flat, so it's kind of nice. I use Winsor and Newton Pro markers. Um, and I try to mix and it does mix kind of nicely. It's not as perfect as dedicated marker paper, but it's kind of okay. It's nice. And of course with these then you've got bleed through, show through when you put pressure. Uh, skin tone markers. So yeah, we'll need water again. <sighs> Three weeks and it's not getting better. Here we go, and same thing, I tried mixing, no issue there, that worked fine, and it shows through. And then I tried, of course, a few different pencils, and it was really nice with the pencils, and you can actually see the grain on those ones. So that was kind of nice for uh, funky notebooks, and the price is actually quite nice as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I can only can only suggest that you go and see all that collection because it's a huge collection and it kind of changes over time. So twolittleboys.co.uk and you will find their notebooks 
and I think you can find them also in stores around the world now. And so I hope you enjoyed this. I really, really like this one, How to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> That's really funky. Because I'm never going to win the Nobel Prize. I would like to, but... Okay. Um, I hope my voice gets better at some point and I can have both sun and voice next time for my next video, but actually, to be honest, I have plenty of things going on in my life at the moment and uh, things that are either tough or even just uh, giving, me pl giving me plenty of reasons not to uh, be on my channel. So I hope I will have more time in the future, but um, maybe this summer, I have no idea. So up till then, see you next time and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.